Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be another Hot Wheels themed one. Uh, when I came down here to the studio tonight, it was not going to be a Hot Wheels themed one. I had a 12 by 36 sitting here and I was going to do a, uh, a, you know, a bigger canvas tonight. Not a Hot Wheels one. It was going to be uh, one that I've done a couple times before. And uh, the first one was actually, the first one I did of this style that I've wanted to do again because those two have sold the first one I did actually sold for the most amount of money that I've ever sold a painting for so I kind of wanted to do another one um, also it's a it's a striking piece and it brings people into the booth which you want to do but then when you sell it then you don't have that even though people are coming in my booth all the time because of the Hot Wheels ones and there's so many different ones before I started doing the Hot Wheels ones I had some great pieces, but it always seemed like people were drawn to that one. Or when they came in, they said, oh yeah, that one drew, drew me in. So that's what I was going to do. And I've been recording intro videos and I don't like how I, I start going off on something else. And so I've been doing this for about 45 minutes now. So I'm wasting all my time. So I'm running out of time. I need to go to bed soon. Um, so I decided to go with a, a Hot Wheels themed one because it's a little bit quicker, smaller. I already have, I'm only gonna use three colors and I've already got two of the colors pre-mixed uh, that I've been, um, you know, keeping in these little sealed little cups, which I don't know why I didn't do that, do it previously, but. So, yeah, and I'd, I'd gotten out some bigger canvases with showing, showing some of my earlier stuff and, uh, I was showing them my jewelry and how I was doing. I was going off on all sorts of stuff. So I need to get going and painting because I also have one red piece to resin and I have to resin it tonight because um, I need to get it to the client by th at least Thursday. And so if I get it done tonight, because it, it was dry today, so I can get it done tonight and it's the second of the two monster truck ones and so i can get it to him i won't be able to get it to him tomorrow but i should be able to get it to him by thursday it should be cured enough that i can get this to him so i need to do that too and uh it's getting late and i don't want to stay up all night so so what i'm going to do is um I had done a painting for this car, but then I switched cars at the end because I didn't like how it turned out. I didn't think this one looked as good on it, but this is the car. It's a charger, I think. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I think it's a, maybe it's a GTO. I don't know. But anyway, it's a neat, neat looking muscle car. And so I did a black one and then I just wanted, I think it was gold and silver I just I kind of was thinking since it's got that strap stripe across the back of the trunk that like the gold came out and then went this way so I had two strips of gold and then I put a little silver in there just to, for a kicker because it does have a little silver on it as you can see like right there silver so it has a little bit of silver on it so um, when I got dried and I, I always set the car on it before just to make sure it looks good. Plus I want to see where I'm going to put it before I start resining it. Just didn't look uh, good to me. I didn't like how it looked with that car. And so I got to look at some of my other cars. I had a gold race car, uh, kind of like an Indy car type style car and it looked pretty good on it. So I went ahead and did that one. So I wanted to do another painting for this one and I've been doing some commission pieces so I haven't had time to do it. So, excuse me, so I thought tonight would be a good night to do it now that I've wasted so much time with these intro videos. So, um, all I gotta do is mix the paints. I'm gonna go with gold background. I've done a one like this before for a black a black car and it turned out uh, awesome. So I'm gonna do gold background with a little bit of black and white coming out the back. And uh, 
so that's what I'm going to go with and uh, hopefully it'll turn out pretty good. So all I got to do is mix the paints. I've already got the canvas on here. I'll level it when, uh, when I get that done and then we can get going. But before we go, I'll, sh I'll will, since I got these out, I'm going to show you some of these pieces that I did. This is one of my favorite, not the favorite of mine, but this is one that uh, I made because orange is my favorite color. So this is a 12 by 36 canvas. This one is not resin, but it's got a, right now it's got a gloss enamel on it. So this is the piece. And uh, so you can see there, and I'm keeping this for myself right now. I might eventually sell it, but I think I'm going to resin it at some point. And then this one, I'm debating on whether I should resin it or not, or just paint over it. Um, but it's, it's this one here. Um, so if you would, in the comments, let me know if I should paint over it or resin it and sell it. So, um, just let me know what you think. Cause, uh, I'm on the fence on that one. Uh, I didn't turn out how I wanted. And so I don't really like it all that well, but you know what resin really brings out, really brings out the colors in it. So it might change up, uh, when it's resin. So, well, let's get started on this. So all I gotta do is mix paints and I'll be right back. All right, I got the paints mixed and, uh, which I only had to do really one cause the other two were, were already pre-made. So I'm leveling out my canvas. And as always, you wanna make sure your canvas is level when you're doing a fluid acrylic painting because if it's not, it will do, it'll slide off and what I call a paint slide, and, and you'll lose a good portion of your painting. I've lost a couple of really nice pieces uh, due to that. So I'm gonna get right into painting, trying to save some time here. So I've noticed with the metallic paints, like gold and silver, mostly, probably with the other ones, I haven't really done, experimented with those, but if you leave these lines in there like this, just go up and down, it'll actually show up in those when it dries. And it gives a nice little texture other than just a flat, you know, straight, just a gold collar. And it does really look nice. I've, I've just found that it really, really adds to the painting. It's almost like a texture, but not textury. Another dimension, I guess you could say, to it. I don't know what you, I don't know what the best word is for. So sorry if I'm not talking much, but I've just spent about 45 minutes gabbing to the camera and I'm not using hardly any of it. So I don't know, maybe I'll splice them all together and make one. I don't know. Right. 
The one thing when you do a Dutch pour, because you add more water to get it more fluid, it's sometimes it's awful thin, especially certain certain types of paint like the gold and the silvers. So that's why it's kind of hard to get really a good covering on there. So I'm gonna use, I wanna go with a little bit more minimal black, so I'm gonna let it drip out of here. I always seem to get too much paint on it. So now the white is going to be a little bit different. I don't want to. There we go. And of course, we can always add more paint, some more color to it if it doesn't turn out the way we want to. Right? Right. So get the old trusty straw out. Ooh, got some paint on it. I'll have to get another straw here soon. I don't want to be sticking my mouth in paint. Mm I'm just wanting it to be a little bit darker, not so much grayish. That's why I'm adding a little bit of black to there.
So we'll have the car like right there. I think that'll turn out pretty good. There's a little bit more black in there. I think I'm done tinkering with it. I do like, um, of course, the black is just sinking and it's turning gray. And that's because I put white on there, which I, I can't even remember the last one I did if I'd had a little that much white in it. But I do like how it has a little, little bit of white streaks in it right there. Just little white lines. So even though it's not dark black, um, I think it'll still look pretty good. So we'll just have to wait for this bad boy to dry. Then we can resin it, put the place, the car on it, and have, a, have another great uh, painting. Anyway. All right. This... This one is dried. Uh, I've got the back taped. So when the driplets or droplets harden, when the resin hardens, you can just pull them right up. It's really nice. Pull that tape off, pulls them right off. So you don't have to struggle with that. This is a 10 by 20 canvas. Again, I use Pro Marine resin. Uh, if you use the Art Resin Calculator, uh, the website, uh, you just type in the size of the canvas and it'll tell you how many ounces of resin to use. It's very handy because resin is, is not a cheap product, uh, but you don't want to waste a bunch of it either. So, um, cause you're just wasting money. So I've been doing these for a while, so I don't really check anymore, but the 10 by 20 gets seven ounces of resin three and a half of the hardener and three and a half of the epoxy resin. You mix those together for two to three minutes. Depends on what the directions say on, on the product that you have. Um, and then you pour, you have about 15 minutes really to work with it. And uh, so I usually just pour, I use a glove on this hand, spread it out with the hand. It's a self leveling resin. And then I pop all the bubbles, the air bubbles out with a, with a little hand torch. And then for these style of paintings that I do, I place the car in while it's wet. That will, when that cures and hardens, it'll hold that car in place and uh, it'll just, it'll stay on there. And uh, 
So that's what I'm going to do. So I've already got this poured in and mixed. So we'll just go ahead and apply it to the top of the canvas. And I just try to get as much out as I can. I'll just work my hand in there and get it, get it all out. I mean, I won't get it all out, but I'll try to get it out as much as I can. So then I just use my hand to move the resin around. Me personally, I have them setting up on these little cardboard, we call them cores. Um, where I work, we use, we have uh, label printers that are on spools on these cardboard cores. And so when we, ch we print out a lot, of, a lot of labels, a lot of tags, so when we run out, we put on another spool and they throw these cardboard cores away and I just either pull them out of the trash or something. Pull them out of the trash if somebody has put one in the trash or when I'm around. Some people save them for me or if I'm changing it out, I'll just keep the core there. But mostly I have a lot of people, a lot of my friends there will, they usually keep an eye out for me, for them. So I use those. They're all level, the same level. I don't think I've ever dropped a canvas like that with resin on it. Do a little extra on the table. And then of course I have uh, some lights. I always have uh, extra lamps or lights going so I can use the light reflecting off of the canvas, the wet canvas, to see where the air bubbles are at so I can blow them out. And that is really helpful because you want to get all those out when you're torching it because you will see those when it dries. And it's, for me, I just don't like seeing those in it. So I torch it a lot. Now resin, for a lot of people, I know it for me at the beginning, starting using resin. I didn't use resin for a while because I was kind of intimidated by using it, not, not knowing. Uh, the very first thing I ever resin was a tabletop. And uh, the resin turned out good, but the table itself, it's a long story. It's a funny story. Well, it wasn't funny at the time, but it's funny now. And I do tell that story every now and then. But it did not did not work on the type of table we were using it on. An outdoor table. Trying to make a table top for it, basically. And it just didn't work. I saw that. Where was it? And what I'm doing here is I, I just see things that... It's almost like they're in the resin. I don't know if it's lint. I don't know what it is. It's dust. You know, we live in a house out in the country, so we have a lot of dust. Especially when they, we have a field on three sides of our house. So, especially when they are, you know, plowing or harvesting we get lots of dust in the house. It's just the way it is. So. But I was real really didn't want to deal with resin and, but when I started decided to make uh, 
coasters, that's when I really started using resin. I bought the my first really big kit. Uh, it was a two gallon kit. Of, it was Pro Marine, what I use still use today. And that's what I really started using the resin for was that. And then that's, I slowly started doing paintings after that. And once you see the difference between a painting that you is one not coated with anything or even coated with a like a gloss enamel spray which is what I was uh, using on my paintings to resin the difference is just amazing it takes it up a level definitely for sure and so that is something that if you're in the market for or, want, or doing these things and you really want your paintings to stand out a little bit even a little bit better definitely resin them so and if and if you are not sure and you just want to practice on some take some canvases that you don't really care if they get i'm not saying it would get ruined but you know really don't it shouldn't bother you if if something would happen to go wrong and you did so i'm gonna put that right there so i want that on the end there so that is just like that All right, so there we have it. We have a uh, another beautiful piece. I love the gold background. And if you remember it uh, from, if you're watching the first of the video when I was painting it, when I was putting on the gold, you know, I put streaks with my palette knife. And as you can see them, you can see those there. It gives it a little bit more depth to it or a little more definition in some of it, just some extra added things without even actually adding paint. And so, I really like that. Uh, I didn't. Use, I used some white and the black did make some gray, but I wanted some darker black in there. I, I got a little bit, not as much as I would probably prefer, but um, it is in there pretty good enough. And there is just a little bit of white you can see, so that came out. And then I really love the cells here, the webbing type thing. So, again, another great piece. And as always, if you like this video, hit the like button. Please leave any comments. If you uh, want to comment on this piece, um, please leave a comment. I always try. I don't get too many comments right now. So, I do try to, I usually do answer the comments or at least like it. So, and then... As always, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit 100. That's my next goal is 100 uh, subscriptions. And uh, I think we're at 90 right now as at this point. And so, again, thanks for watching.